Getting started with the whole hog operating system. This demonstration video will use the Hog3 PC application. Launching the program gives us two windows, the splash screen and also the start screen. Let's look at each one in detail. In the splash screen, we will find the software version that we're currently running. Here, we're using version 2.3.0, build 1928. We can also see the IP address and MAC address of our system. You will also see the date. The white rectangle will display the processes initiating when we launch a new show or log into an existing show. The start screen gives us options for launching or logging into a show. The launch new show button will create a brand new blank show file with no fixtures patched. The Launch Existing Show section allows us to log into a show file that was created previously. Pressing Launch Existing Show will launch the last show you were logged into on this system, which is displayed in the box to the right. Choose Browse to launch a different show file on your hard drive or external media device. The Connect to Show options allow us to log into another HOG3 system as a client. This is also where you would connect HOG3 PC as a remote focus device. This is used also in multi-programmer setups. The control panel is used to configure your system's hardware. The settings button is used when networking consoles. Help opens up the HOG3 manual on your system. and Quit allows us to exit the program. Please note that on the HOG3 and Roadhog consoles, you will also have calibration and software update options in this window. Now let's work with the start screen. Ultimately, we will launch a new show, but let's say I wanted to log into an existing show on my hard drive. I'll click Browse, and if I wanted to launch show 222, I'd select it and click OK. For this demonstration, I do want to start a new show, so I'm going to cancel that option. Let's click Launch New Show. In the next window, the console will allow you to choose a location to store your show. This is also the window you will name your show in and also give a description if you choose. I'm going to call this show file My Show Name. Once I've done that, I'll just click Next. Here we need to choose a fixture library to associate with our new show. By default, the console will choose the newest library revision, in this case version 4. This is important because this will make sure we have all of the latest fixture profiles. At this point, I can click Finish and begin to build my new show. The console will take a few moments to create my new show. In this time, you will see Windows asking you to wait, and you will also see the Show Server launch. Inside the Splash screen, we'll see the hog processes coming online. 